Kate Forbes soared to political prominence as finance secretary, delivering her first budget within hours of getting the job. She had a bit more notice about becoming a mum last year, but within days of delivering a baby girl, she realised she was suffering from postnatal depression. Everybody tells you to sleep when the baby's sleeping and to make sure you get as many naps as possible, which is fine, unless you just can't sleep. I just couldn't sleep day or night and had the sense of terror. So being in the house during the day, a sense of fear, anxiety that somebody was going to do harm to me or to the baby. And of course, that was exacerbated at night as well, where I just couldn't be alone anywhere in the house. And then also a sense of anxiety and guilt that I'd wrecked everybody else's lives. And what I just wanted to do was to disappear until it all passed. And I think I would characterize it as a sense of intense sadness, uh, depths of sadness where you just can't find any joy or happiness. The SNP MSP for Skyloch Aber and Badenoch says family and midwives got her through the first few months. I had midwives that were legends amongst women and they mobilized the NHS, referred me to the doctor and ensure that there was as much support as possible. And then of course, family helping. So my wider family really stepped up in terms of looking after the baby. And my husband did a lot to help me talk through it. But in the course of the last year, I've been quite taken aback by the number of conversations I've had with other mothers who went through very similar experiences and don't talk about it because they fear that it's a sign of their weakness or their inability or their incompetence as mothers. So I think perhaps if more of us talked about it, more would realise they're not alone. This is the first time Kate Forbes has spoken about postnatal depression, steering clear of it during the SNP leadership contest. Now, not long after this, you went into an SNP leadership contest. You're still you know, a busy MSP. How is everything now? Everything is so much better. And it is just such a relief to think backwards and realise that I'm not the same person that I was in those first few months. And I just love spending time with uh, the 13-month-old uh, mischievous baby girl and juggling that with uh, a busy job.